Um, what's the kind of effect having such a deep bench has had for the team this year? Having such a deep bench has really been good, like in games and in practice, because it get, helps everyone to get ready for the games. I mean, it, practice is so competitive. It's really it's competitive, but it's still fun. And I think having that bench, you know that whoever comes on at any time during the game, that they're going to be good enough to play as well as the people who are going off. I'm guessing you hadn't come off the bench a lot much in your career until this year. Is it just about bringing energy and kind of making an impact? Yeah, definitely. Um, for me, it's just kind of like go out there, do the best that I can, and kind of work my way up. Obviously, I'm just a freshman, so I understand like my role on the team right now. But I would love to, you know, work my way up to a starter sometime in the future in my career here at Purdue. This season, you've usually been one of the first players off the bench, uh, bringing energy. Uh, is that something you focus on when you do get at the call, is just kind of having an impact? Um, of course, yeah. The first thing I think about is just being that spark to the team, just bringing the energy, because I've been watching, I've been seeing what's been going on on the field, and just bringing that energy to the game and just having fun. Uh, Rob, Coach Claudie highlighted uh, last weekend that your fitness level and just your will to, to drive the ball, to advance the ball, um, have really improved. Um, would you say that's one area that you feel like the game has really taken a step up for you? Yeah, definitely. I think this year, just my overall game has improved and it just helps to be completely healthy. That That's really helped me to just enjoy the game more. And I think my ability to enjoy the game has helped me to improve in all areas of my game, especially my fitness. Very hot day today. The weather's supposed to be better this weekend. But that heat got us thinking about the depth that the team has shown this year. Um, it seems like you really have gotten contributions from more than just the starting 11. Without a doubt, you know, when we look at, uh, you know, um, rotation of our outside backs for the amount of, amount of times that we want them to go forward and get into the attack, we feel like we're certainly at least two, if not three, deep in that position. Um, we got a rotation of, uh, you know, three, at least three defensive midfielders for two spots, and we definitely can rotate more than uh, two rotations through for all of our attacking mids in our forward line. And so the only players that we're really asking to play, you know, extended minutes right now are, you know, probably one of our defensive midfielders and our center backs and our goalkeepers. And uh, so that depth should prove well, you know, prove very helpful. But at the same time, I think Friday's supposed to be 74, and uh, you know, maybe in the mid to upper 70s on uh, Sunday. So you know, in that type of weather, I don't think we're going to see the same impact as maybe like a 95 degree today is in training. Uh, Krista, one thing that uh, Rob has kind of complimented you about with your game is your ability in the air, uh, heading the ball and being able to win, um, you know, serves and set pieces and stuff like that. Is that something you've always kind of been good at? Um, yeah, it's kind of always been one of my favorite parts of the game, just to go up and challenge for the ball. Um, I find it very fun, so it's something that I've liked to work on in my past years and just get good at it, I guess. Last couple of weeks we've been talking about the concussion sensors and stuff like that, and you know, heading is the main thing that they kind of focus on, I guess, that in collisions. Is that ever in the back of your head that... Uh, you know, that they're tracking that, how often my head makes contact? Um, definitely. I mean, I was a little worried about it, to be honest, just because, like, I've never had it tracked. So who knows, maybe I have had concussions and, you know, just keep playing because that's what we've always done until you have sensors on your head. But, um, I don't know, I think it's kind of a cool study, so, I mean, it's good to be a part of it. Are there a player or two, either from your class or maybe uh, the class above you or below you, that you really like to watch or you really feel like have improved coming into this year? This year, I really like playing with Jordan Frick. I think she's a great outside back. She loves to go overlap and just get involved in the game, and she's a great defender. And I think just being on the herd one year, she's like my big motivator. Like she's always fit. Like she always, she's always consistent. So definitely Jordan Frick. Part of two uh, state titleist uh, winners at uh, Naperville North in suburban Chicago. So obviously played at a very high level. Did you feel like that kind of prepared you for what college was going to be like? Um, a little bit. Definitely with the big games and everything, because the state title game is kind of a big deal, especially in our area. Um, so preparing for that, like mentally, I think definitely helped me, just kind of like staying calm and keeping my nerves down. But um, obviously the speed of play here at Purdue and just the college level in general is a lot faster. So definitely was a change for me. But Sounds like there was at least one familiar face on the roster when you showed up. Uh, Kate Bowie had been in both a teammate and an opponent one time. Yep. Yep, we played against each other for three years in high school. She went to one of our rival high schools, Wheaton South, and um, we played for the same club at a point. So. It's, it, it really is about us. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, to make it any, but we really spend 
most of our time right now focusing on who we are and being the best team that we can be in regards to both defending and attacking. And we feel like uh, we've, we've now found a, a system and a pattern of play that's going to provide us opportunities to score. So most of our time today was spent on maximizing who we can be going forward. Tomorrow is about maximizing how we want to play defensively off of set, set pieces. And Thursday is about having fun and uh, scoring lots of goals and really going into the game with as much confidence as possible. So, you know, whether we catch a team on the up, upswing or downswing, it really doesn't make much difference because I know IPFW is going to look at this as, hey, how, we've got to stop that slide. And Miami, still, you know, every team's approaching that game with a, a mindset of that they want to win. And so you don't know whether you're going to catch someone on, you know, um, a, a rested day or a non-rested day and everything. So it's really about you showing up. And if, if we show up with energy, with passion, we're engaged and we want to be competitive, I, I feel like we can play with any team in the country. We've just been working a lot on connecting, at least at the center mids, like connecting with each other and working together defensively. So working a lot on screening the forwards for the other team, um, staying connected with our back line as well as our forwards, and just making sure that me and whoever else is in there or the other two defensive center mids are like really just staying connected in order to like prevent the splits and counterattacks on us. In fact, uh, I believe IPFW uh, certainly appears to be a, a stronger side than they've been over the past several seasons. Um, ability to not give up many goals, and they've been in most of the games, and you know they've had some good results. You know, when I look at their 1-0 uh, loss against Valparaiso, you know that's the same uh, scoreline that Northwestern had with Valparaiso. Um, you know, they've got a win over Ball State as well. Um, I know they played a close game with Wright State, so it's a side that's not giving up a whole lot of goals. We've got to do, we've got to come out and be focused, um, organized, and ensure that we've got energy. We've got to put them on the back foot and uh, you know we've got to convert our chances and as you know we've spoken in the past we've got to ensure that we don't leak the goals in the back and we certainly will be addressing you know our defending set pieces and everything over the course of the rest of the week. Um, as for going into Miami um, you know it's a change for us in that uh, you know the surface that they play on is bluegrass it's a bit thicker so it's a slower field um, I believe they've got nine seniors we're playing on senior day for them so there certainly will be a motivated group um, and they're one of the best sides traditionally in the MAC and I know that uh, you know they'll post this problem so come out and play because uh, their approach is that if they want to win the MAC they've got to be able to break down you know um, athletically um, you know, athletic teams they've got to play good defense and they've got to be able to attack so it's not a side that I don't believe that's going to sit numbers behind the ball you know it's going to be open game um, and so we've got to be you know we've got to be on the best on both ends of the ball.